Hey, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do some simple authentication using Superbase. So the user can create a new account using an email and password. And then once they're authenticated, we will redirect them to their profile page. And of course, I'll show you how to log out as well. Let's create a new project. I'm going to call it just auth tutorial. And I'm just going to generate a password here and select your appropriate region. So you can see it's setting up the project now. And once that's done on the sidebar, let's go to the authentication. Let's go to the providers and you can see the email is already enabled. So I want you to just uncheck this confirm email option. And let's click save. Now, if I come back to my code, I've just created a new Flutter project. And in my main function, I'm running my app, which just brings in a blank scaffold. So you should have a blank white app like this. Now, first thing to do is let's open up the terminal and I want to add in the package, Superbase Flutter. Now let's just do a little bit of setting up. So in the main function, let's make it asynchronous. And for the super base setup, it's really easy. So if you start typing super base, you can see there it is. So just hit enter to auto import. And let's go to the initialize. And we need to specify two things. So the key and the URL. So if you come back to your dashboard or your project rather, you can scroll down and find this project API. And you can see these two things. So project URL and API key. So I want you to make sure to copy these two in. Cool, and that is actually it for setting up Firebase. Now, one thing I recommend at this point is to just kill the app and restart it since we added in a new package. Cool, now the first thing I wanna do is let's create a new file called auth service. And so in this class, I'm going to have all the methods that we need for the authentication. So firstly, let's just get the instance of Superbase. And we want to do firstly the signing in with email and password, signing up, signing out, and also getting the user email would be helpful. So starting with the signing in, all we need as a parameter are just the string of email and password. And if you go to Superbase Auth, you should be able to see this sign in with password option. And so that's how easy it is. Let's do something similar for signing up. And that's that. So and lastly, we have a sign out method as well. And let's have a way to get the current user's email so that we can display it in our page later. So to do this, I'm just going to look at the session first. And if there's a session, let's get the user. And then we can get the user email. Cool, so this is the auth service class. Now I'm gonna create another file called auth gate. And let me just write some comments here so you guys know what this is. So for this, it will just continuously listen for auth state changes. So this will just determine, so if we're unauthenticated, let's show login page. If we're authenticated, let's show profile page. Right, so if I just create this stateless widget called authgate, the main important thing here is using a stream builder. So we're going to listen to the auth state changes. And then build the appropriate page based on the auth state. So firstly, if it's loading, just show a loading circle.
And then let's check if there is a valid session currently. So in the snapshot, if we have data, then let's just return the session. Otherwise, let's return null. And then we can do a quick check here. So if there is a session, we're going to show the profile page. Otherwise, we'll show the login page. So now it's time for the UIs. I'm going to create another folder called pages. And let's start with the login page. Now at the top, I'm just going to get the auth service. And let's create these text controllers. So one for email, one for password. And then when we have the login button being pressed, let's just prepare the data. So get the text from each of these controllers. And we're going to attempt the login. So just go to your auth service and you should be able to grab that method that we created. And if anything goes wrong, just catch any of the errors. And what we're going to do is just display it as a snack bar message at the bottom. Cool. And then now it's time for the fun part, which is just building the UI. So it's just going to be a big list view where we've got the email text field. And so this is where we can give the controller to this text field so that we can access what the user typed. And same thing for the password. Let's create a button to log in. Now just to see what's going on here, let's come back to the auth gate and now we can import this login page. And now it's time to create this profile page. And before I create the profile page any further, let's just import it so that we can see what's going on. So in the main function, in the home, let's return our auth gate. Cool, and you can see that's what our page looks like. I feel like we can make it a little nicer with the decoration. I'm just going to put in a label. And let's just space this out a little bit. That's looking good. And by the way, we have a login page, but we need a way to let the user create a new account, right? So at the bottom here, I'm going to say, go to register page to sign up. And let's wrap this in a gesture detector. And if I tap on this, then we're going to navigate to the register page, which we haven't created. So let's just create that now real quick. Cool, so now if I save this and I click on this bit of text, we can go to the register page. Beautiful. Now the register page looks very similar to the login page. So let's just grab these little bit of code here. And then when the sign up button is pressed, again, we're going to just similarly prepare the data and try to try to sign the user up. Now with the register page though, I'm going to have one more field for the confirm password. And let's just do a little check here. So just check the passwords, make sure that they match.
cool and then we can attempt our sign up Cool, and by the way, since we're on this register page, after we sign up, let's pop this current register page. Now, finally, for the building the UI, I'm going to copy what we have in the login page. And let's just switch this up to make it the register page. Cool, and you can see there it is. Now we don't need this at the bottom and I'm actually gonna create an app bar. And you can see there's a little arrow so I can go to this page and then I can go backwards. And this button should not say login, it should say sign up. And let's try this. So I'm gonna go to my register page and let's put in my email and the password looks like the controller is a bit messed up. Yes, we didn't give the confirm password controller. Now let's create an account. And if the passwords don't match, you can see it shows that little error. So make sure the passwords match. And then we can now create a user. And you can see we're in the profile page. Now let's have a logout button to go back. Cool, and we can now log out. Now while we're here, let's give these all app bars. And let's test out that login. And it's working beautifully. Cool, now in the profile page in the middle, maybe we could display the user email. And sick, there it is. And that's how you do it. Now, by the way, maybe these passwords, we can continue building this out now. So if you go to the text field, you might wanna obscure the text and say true for the passwords. And what that means is it just, you can't see what the people are typing, but that's pretty much it. So that's how you do the authentication. And just to show you in our super base dashboard, if you go to the authentication, you can see the users and there's our user that we just created awesome hopefully that was helpful that was really fun to make now i'm going to continue building out a lot of apps using superbase so let me know if you like these videos and what you want to see but i'm going to work on the next one so thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace